Today in the Daily Dose, Matahari. Born Margarita Katruda Zell in 1876, Lee Warden Holland, after living on the island of Java, as a mail order bride to Scottish born Dutch Army officer John McLeod, a relationship that proved abusive for the future Matahari, Margarita poured herself into the study of Javanese culture and dance. After her divorce from her alcoholic husband, by 1905, her fame as an exotic dancer spread throughout Europe, informing audiences that she was born a Javanese princess, where she was given the name Matahari, or Eye of the Day, in the Malay language. Coattailing on early 20th century modern dance standouts like Isadora Duncan and Ruth St. Dennis, Matahari's Asian-inspired interpretations packed dance halls and opera houses from France to Russia, mainly due to the fact that her performances eventually morphed into a strip show. Promiscuous, flirtatious, and openly flaunting her body, Matahari brought a carefree, provocative style to stages throughout Europe, leading one French journalist to write that Matahari was so feline, extremely feminine, majestically tragic, the thousand curves and movements of her body trembling in a thousand rhythms. She also became quite an infamous courtesan, cavorting with wealthy men in high society alike. And after the outbreak of World War I, her stable of lovers expanded to include high-ranking military officers of an assortment of nationalities. In February of 1917, as France struggled with war fatigue and high losses on European battlefields, French authorities arrested Matahari on trumped-up charges of espionage for the German government, even though France had paid her a million francs to seduce Prussian Crown Prince Wilhelm, the oldest son of Kaiser Wilhelm II. Accused of sharing details of the Allies' newly developed battle tank, which, according to prosecutors, resulted in the deaths of thousands of Allied soldiers. During her widely publicized trial, she proclaimed a harlot, yes, but a traitorous, never. She was convicted of spying for Germany and sentenced to death. On October 15th at Vincennes, France, she was brought before a firing squad of 12 French soldiers, refusing a blindfold as she defiantly blew a kiss to her executioners. After shots rang out, one eyewitness reported that slowly, inertly, she settled to her knees, her head up always, and without the slightest change of expression on her face. For the fraction of a second, it seemed she tottered there on her knees, gazing directly at those who had taken her life. Then she fell backwards, bending at the waist with her legs doubled up beneath her, ending Matahari's life at the still tender age of 41. And there you have it, Matahari, today on The Daily Dose. If you like learning something new every day, subscribe to The Daily Dose on YouTube or sign up for emails at dailydosenow.com.